Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and I am going to make a series of videos about Rule Relation Algorithm in detail with a clear cut explanation about all the different criteria that is there in Rule Relation Algorithm. And this video, this is a series of videos, total 7 videos, it is going to explain about Rule Relation Algorithm each criteria in one video. If you are watching this video, please be noted that there are other videos maybe in front of this video or after this video which covers the entire rule relation algorithm process. So before we get into the rule relation algorithm and we are going to start a new training batch on PEGA from this May 31st 2022. Timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST Indian Standard Time. If you have any of your friends who are looking for the same you can refer them. And if any of your friends who are freshers or any one of your connections who are freshers graduated on in any degree and who have gap after education or if they are looking for a career change, I mean like if they are already working and looking for a career change, you can recommend Harsha trainings, which is we suggest them the best and high demanding course in the market and get them achieve their goals to get into the IT field and get the IT job. And now this video is one of the videos in the series of rule relation algorithm process where in this video I am going to explain about class inheritance hierarchy and its importance. If you have any questions or any doubts please post your questions in the comment section below of this video and if you are attending interviews on PEGA if you have any queries for which you are looking for answers please post those questions in the comment section below we would be happy to help you and assist you. In the rule relation algorithm, what are the different criteria? Rule cache, class inheritance, rule set hierarchy, rule availability, circumstance, rule authorization. Rule authorization I have already explained yesterday itself and circumstance we have already worked on long back. So two are completed out of all this. And rule cache I will tell you at the end. And I am going to now explain you about class inheritance. How many types of inheritance we have? Two types of inheritance we have. One is pattern inheritance, another one is direct inheritance. Yes. Pattern inheritance is by class naming pattern. So for work class, the parent class are CNA, CNA, auto, I, all are in pattern inheritance. Correct? There's in pattern. And in the direct inheritance, you have framework application class, just definition, and it will take one hour to explain everything. Okay, just maybe it will take more than one hour. Let's see how much we can complete. So PC, uh, I'm sorry direct parent framework class framework class direct parent is work dash cover dash work dash cover dash direct parent is work dash work dash direct parent is base class that is the next highest level you see here whenever a request is requesting for a rule remember request should be initiated at some place right usually transaction gets initiated from class group correct transaction will get initiated from class group okay take it ideally okay now that is the current class that is the current class if i execute a transaction initiated it from implementation class group then current class is implementation class group and if i initiate my transaction by executing it from framework class group what is the current class framework class group. whenever a request is requesting for rule as part of transactional processing or anyhow whenever a request is requesting for a rule process commander always fix the rule from the current class okay I'll, I'll tell you one example just orally i'm going to explain you by this time you should have the capability of imagining everything i have a section in, in implementation work class i have a section in implementation work class i have a section in framework work class okay section by name same Se section name is customer detail section same name section is there in implementation class group as well as framework class group. I have executed a flow now. The flow is being executed in the framework class group context. Flow is created in framework class group. There, there itself I have executed it. Now, my question is, what is the section? As part of this flow, customer detail section is being requested. The section that is going to be picked as part of processing, is it going to be picked from framework class group or implementation class group? same name section is there in both places right which one will be picked mm -hmm. section framework. at framework will be picked that is the current class 
next question same example is same i have executed the flow in implementation class group as part of execution of this flow section has been requested customer data section that is there in implementation class group as well as framework class now you need to tell me which one will be picked implementation in class group section that is the current class it is there everyone clear with this current class means now imagine i am going to initiate my transaction in the implementation class group as part of my transaction processing i am requesting for customer details section okay i will tell you now where the customer details section is there customer details section is not there in the implementation class group in the implementation class group there is no section by name customer details but there is a section available in the framework class group that's it now when i initiate my transaction in the implementation class group the section will be picked from framework framework let me change this a little bit now section is not there in implementation class group as usual but it is there in framework class group it is also there in application class this is the application class pattern parent means the section whatever that you are requesting by initiating transaction in the implementation class group it is present in pattern inheritance parent class as well as direct inheritance parent class in both classes it is present if it is not there in the current class obviously it has to take from the parent class right then from which parent class it is going to take that is the question now it has to go to parent there are two parents now one is pattern another one is direct i am not asking you question i am just trying to explain now hold on in the class rule form of implementation class group you see one option i told you that i will discuss about this later long back i told you what is the option meaning find by name first part in the inheritance always this class when it follows inheritance it has to find the parent class first by naming pattern so first priority is given to pattern inheritance first priority is given to pattern inheritance and next it has to go to direct inheritance so when the section that is being requested is there in pattern inheritance parent as well as direct inheritance parent which one it is going to pick now always first priority is for pattern when this checkbox is selected imagine i have unchecked this checkbox then it will pick from direct inheritance but usually that won't happen in the enterprise application development you can remember as a thumb rule pattern inheritance is first priority than direct inheritance why what is the reason this is the reason in the class rule form find by name first pattern checkbox is selected if i uncheck that then reverse direct inheritance will take the priority okay everyone clear so this is class inheritance hierarchy so process commander whenever it has to pick the rule and process it it will it will take the uh, class inheritance into consideration always current class if not present pattern parent class if not present then only direct parent class understand direct parent of direct parent like this it will go till base class if the rule is being requested is not there in current class it look into the pattern nowhere available in the pattern direct it is not there in the direct inheritance framework work class it will go to work dash cover dash it is not there it will go to work dash it is not there it will go to base class if it is there in base class okay still it is not there in the base class then it will throw an error message rule not found exception okay so that is what about class inheritance hierarchy everyone clear about class inheritance hierarchy